Welcome back to MCM Outdoors. I'm joined by the long lost pharaoh. Yeah, I'm back. The goat. The goat is back. Um, and we've come to a really nice spot. Weather's looking great. Nice warm temperatures. We've got a nice breeze, no midges. We've got a load of nice beers which we're going to show you. Some nice food, some nice treats. And uh, yeah, I made up to be back out with the Walsh Meist. Uh, take it you are as well. So I'm sure you'll enjoy this one. So stay till the end. And yeah, while she's in the Banshee, I am in the Sierra Designs Meteor 2. And we're going to have a cracking camp. So without further ado, we're going to get set up and we'll speak to you throughout. Yeah, glad to be back. Looks like the sun's coming out for the evening. Yeah. And we'll, uh, we'll get have set up one. and then crack open the first beer. First beer. Yeah, sweet in a bit. Horsey, tell us about your stool. This is funny, everyone. This is funny. Well, I think it is because of the name. I've never called? even uh, recognised it. So it's a Van Gogh stool, but I bought it in uh, Balmoral, uh, home of the Queen. Visit my mates up in Scotland, in Aberdeenshire. So it's called the Van Gogh Balmoral. They've gone to a lot of effort there. Well, I'll just call it like the Van Gogh three-legged stool. Van Gogh Balmoral special edition. When he sits in it, you're gonna put your smoking jacket on yeah. and uh, check the time the on your pocket watch and a pipe. Yeah. Should have bought the pipe, shouldn't we, and some whiskey. Yeah. Tell the viewers about the, the Chesney. We had, to, uh, nipped, we had to nip the birds, didn't we? For uh, some Chesney and some snacks. So we've got the uh, the Northern Brie. So nice. we'll have to find out what's northern about it. We've got a little, little, little bit of that and then we've got obviously we're in uh, where we live, Lancashire, so um, sea salt. Yeah, sea salt, and we're by the by the sea. So we've got some nice local beers. potatoes and local salt. Yeah, we'll tell you, I'll tell you about the beers in a bit, but while she's beating me, I'll uh, we'll have a little look in the Banshee. Banshee 200. Is this the Pro? Is it Walsh? I think it is the Pro. Is it? I think it's the so. Banshee 2. I thought it was. Is it? Yeah. Could be. It's the, it is the Banshee 200 yeah. Pro. About 100. And about 120 B, I think it was. Yeah. 120 pounds. Finally here. Get the buff on, look as weird as possible. Like I always used to. But yeah, we're all set up. Um, we're going to have the first beer in a minute. I'll very quickly show you inside the Meteor. But yeah, about six o'clock. We're gagging for a beer. The mouth's so dry. Yeah. We'll talk you through what we've got in a second, but. Let's have a quick look at this and then we're going to get the first can open. So we got the beers over there, a little cheapo as their sleeping bag because I do not have um, you know, anything better for summer use really. So ample room in there, we've got the bag, rucksack in the other vestibule and yeah cavernous, look at all that headroom, lantern on there. I brought the Trekology UL80 just because it's a little bit more uh, comfortable in terms of thickness. Trekology pillow and a mammoth, mammoth pillow just to go on top of that. And yeah, a few bits and pieces, but I think it's time to get the beers on the go. Oh, yes, please. Ukrainian love, share the love. It's the first beer taste with me and the goat for a while. Well, so you go first, mate. So, so I'm not going to try and pronounce it or give the name because it's in Ukrainian but it's actually Ukraine's most loved beer maybe that's the, uh, the translation profits go to Ukrainian relief so yeah I thought uh, I saw these in uh, in the Aldi obviously you don't see Ukrainian beer very often and I think like tax goes to help them have some food and that's um, yeah so I, I have had it before but I'll tell you about it it's a lager Oh, still cold, fizzy. 
It's nice. I like it. Refreshing. Yeah, refreshing, yeah. And you can scan to donate as well. Cool. Drinking for a good cause. Yeah. That's always good. That's what we like to do, isn't it? Yeah. I'm on this. I don't know if you can see that. Just guessing. Oh yeah, I should get a bit of a close up there, shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, that's why I didn't try and pronounce it. Stout about it. Have you seen that in it? This is an Aldi special. Yeah, I've had that. Budget. Much cheaper. Nice bit of froth. Nice. Sounds a bit like Guinness. You can get some good beers, can't you, for a. Uh... For a lot for a lot cheaper like but I think some of the premium ones still that got a bit more to them haven't they but yeah you can look around that's nice that like a nice mild Guinness with some vanilla mm. aftertaste so it's a bit sweeter it's a bit of sweetness yeah we're gonna enjoy this and then we're getting tea on cheers cheers, cheers Roz Where are you on, Walsh Fay? So I've got the, um, the MSR stove, um, cooking cook cook set, yeah, cooking set, so I've got that, and then I'm just going to, um, it's just the old recommendation, isn't it? Look what we've found. Chicken tikka. Yeah, I've got rice, chicken tikka. Should go down well, 10 minutes, I'm crack just, open another beer. Just debating whether to get it all in the one pot, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do, you know, I don't really try and overthink, but just um, whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna do my rice for about maybe five and a half, six minutes, and then once that's going, you know, lid on, get the temperature nice, nice. take the lid off, put the chicken tikka in, four or five minutes, bish bash bosh. Spot on. Yeah. Good stuff. Going in, taking the plunge. Yeah. Go in. Oh, he's in. He's dropped. He's dropped it. It's tea bagged. Oh, he's bubbling. On the bubble. On the bubble. We'll lower it down a bit, maybe. Five point two percent. Sound good, that. Size on. It's a sipping beer, I think. Sipping with my curry. We're both on the same meal. Look what we found: two quid, as opposed to these dehydrated camper meals, which cost you sort of a tenner. So, you know, in these times when we're all skint, little things like that, boiling the bag rice, bulk it up a bit, two quid for a camping meal. It's these little things. And if it comes to it, make sandwiches. Just make, make some butties, take some sandwiches with you. Don't let that be a barrier to coming out. What am I gonna eat, you know? Take some butties. Nothing wrong with that, is there? No. You can make so you know if you if you batch cooked as well. Yeah. But if, Slow cook or something. Yeah. Dehydrate your own food. Obviously you've got to get the equipment for that. A la Patrick Dickinson. But it's just nice, isn't it? I've had a stress. I've had a stressful week. Um, <laughs> as bubble, usual. Bubble over. Sorry. I'm just trying to bear my hand. I've had a poor rip there. Bad rip. Mm -hmm. Have to leave it wider. Showing some uh, oil so it's it's, it's warm. Start to show its oil. See, that's why you need to come out wild camping more and learn these tips. Mm. Oh no, he's done it. I've missed. It's all over the place. Oh, we're gonna get foxes. I'm leaving all this in for we've missed comment while she's comedy comments. We're gonna get foxes. Oh, because yeah, the uh, seek out rice anyway. Yeah, whilst while she's uh, dealing with that, oh. that's what happens. You, you're off your game. No, it's because I'm, I'm flexible, I'm in an awful position. 
get a bit you can get a bit of that pile back in with your fingers. No. I've sand on it. The cherry size on. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, I don't care. Here I'm we go. Inflexible. Yeah, I could get some of that rice back in. We'll be picking this up off the floor probably in about two hours. We'll be hungry. A few hours. Right, it's time for the uh, Chianti. Where's your bottle, Walsh? Chianti DOCG. Chianti Classico. I'll just show the camera and I will assume the seated position. Focus! There we are. So, this. It's a lovely, it's a lovely drop. <laughs> for those of you that know, on the Pendle Hill, Extreme uh, camp video. Cheese this is what, fest. yeah. This is what we were drinking in the tent. I will link that video above now. However, um, the conditions are much more favourable now, aren't they? Much more suitable, yeah. Much more suitable. So where's the Chesney, lad? And we've even got um, Lancashire crisps. Lancashire crisps. So I'll let you go first. Salty. With my corkscrew, which I got in a cracker many years ago but it's great for camping uh, crisp <laughs> mm. oh nice them say them for the chesney yeah no, good crisp they're better than walkers oh a mile better oh. people don't know what they're missing do they Right, there you go. Um, walkers. So yeah, 
We've got some nice cheese, which Walsh is going to get out in a bit. We've just been watching the sunset, and such a great location. I don't know if this mic's picking it up, but you can just hear the backdrop, you know, which is the, the sound of that ocean, the surf. It is so relaxing, this spot, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. It's stunning, like, you know, you can't beat it, can you? Surrounded by trees. Lovely bushes, pine forests. Sounds, birds, wildlife. And, and no other humans. <laughs> That's always good. That is always a good bonus. Yeah. Oh, I think we're going out the bottle. I should sleep after this anyway. Yeah. <laughs> we're going out the bottle on this one. Pure class here at MCM Outdoors, as has consistently been the case over many years. Oh yeah. Pure class. So while she to love wrap this one. You describe it. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to leave it to you, Walsh. Oh, I don't even know how to imagine. <laughs> cherries. Cher like soft cherries and sort of like they're being soaked in some like stemmed. But maybe like a tiny bit of stemmed ginger. <laughs> and a bit of a, a bit of vanilla. It's lovely that. Cool. It smells yeah. creamy. Have you? Yeah. Oh. Creamy. Oh, it's gorgeous. This is one of the best bottles of wine. I, I, I love Chian I love Chianti. So do I if we can get into it? <laughs> God, it's coming. I love Chianti. I think it's it's light. It's light, it's fruity, but this it's is light. a great this is a great example, I think. Do you? Oh, it's a lovely one. We got there in the end. Jesus, that was a uh, touch and go at one oh, point. It's nice there. <laughs> Lovely drop. I'm gonna let the air get to mine. Which did not. Well, have your first sip, and then uh, right, I'll do that. That is, that is lovely there. I I think you can't. I think Chianti is uh, underrated. I think with. Uh, with, oh. the with the tomato pasta. Smell of that. It's like drinking it when you're just smelling it. With the tomato pasta and like cheese. Tomato pasta, parmesan. Nice tomato pasta, basil, parmesan. Chianti, you know, oh. you're, just, you're just in heaven. It's worth Brisset it, isn't it? Bruschetta. Cheers, lad. Oh. I love my food as well, as you can probably tell, but. No. You got the, you've got the waist of an eighteen-year-old. I mean, that's just like look. Yeah, that's just look. Swap you. Yeah. Right. Should we should we bring the viewer back when it's time for Chesney? Yeah. We'll have a or few more Chesney tricks, time. Yeah, we'll have a few more. We'll have a bit of crisp in the Chesney. A bit of crisp in there. Well, and then you got to keep it roll. We've got the, uh, the Northern Brie here. We're back. Northern Brie? Northern Brie. There's a bit of uh, the old Chesney. Oh, look at that. It's, we it's weeping. It started to weep. You just place it in the middle of the, uh, that, big, that big slab there. Just going to get this bit off the floor. MCM. Michael's cheesy madness. <laughs> Is it like? Lovely. That well class dairy. Mm. Nice stuff. Probably creamy. It's really creamy. 
Oh. Quite subtle, isn't it? It's got a nice uh, sour kick to it as well, isn't it? I thought at first it was like, doesn't much, you know, it was just like, not, not like loads of flavour, but came in, didn't it? Nice, that. That's probably a go with that. This way. is this what it's all about. For all the naysayers out there that say, like, you know, you're copying off other channels and you're doing this and you do. This is what we've done since we were 15, 16, just that YouTube didn't exist then. You know, we used to go out to Snowdonia, go and climb Crib Gok to Snowdon and back, camping in Bettersea Coed in North Wales. We'd be necking bottles of vodka, wouldn't we? <laughs> Doing all sorts of crazy stuff. And we've always done that, it's just that YouTube wasn't there then. There's plenty of people, are you just trying to copy off this? We're not. It's just what we've always done, isn't it? Yeah. Wine. It started off, didn't it? Just like cap capturing like what we were, what we were doing, do you know yeah. what I mean? But, um, you know, that, that's, what it's, that's what it's always been about, but we've, al we've always enjoyed it, haven't we? And like, camping and... It's yeah, always been beer, about... Yeah, pub. It's, it's always, it's always the been, yeah. The walk. It's always been about a like shared love of nature, the outdoors, you know, the natural world. We enjoy food, we enjoy our beers, we enjoy a nice wine. And that that is that's what MCM Outdoors is all about. Um, it's like I say, it's become more difficult for Walshie to get out at the moment because you know he's a young dad. Uh, he's got a young young lad, so um, he's got his hands full. Same for Matt, you know, he's got two young boys ish, young. Um, younger than my two but you know it's not so easy for them to just up sticks and get out so you know nothing's wrong nothing's changed it's just life uh, but you know the core is still there isn't it it's just oh, yeah. definitely yeah. that's it and then when time becomes a bit freer um, as, as as the little ones get older you know we'll get out again and um, you know you'll see the, the young goat maybe getting out in a video at some point yeah uh, you see my two and then Matt's lads as well, so, yeah. And, you know, you'll have to put up with me and when Walshy can't come out, um, you know, waffling on with my other mates, so get on with it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's just the way it is, isn't it? You know, like, it's, you know, things get a bit harder, things 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 change a bit, don't they? So it's, you know, it's, the, way, it's the way it is, but we get out when we can, like, and... No, we still enjoy it. We still enjoy the same, the same things. It's still yeah. Just because you don't see us on camera as well doesn't mean we don't speak. Yeah. He lives around the corner <laughs> from me. You know, you yeah. just don't see that. So there you go. But yeah, we're going to enjoy the rest of this. The tide's coming in, so the soundtrack is getting a bit louder. It's lovely. But what a what a fantastic night, isn't it? So like ambient. There's there's so much atmosphere in this camp. There is, isn't there? Yeah. It's just Surrounded really is yeah. unbelievable. So hopefully you're getting a sense of you know what we what we enjoy from from this video. So yeah, we're gonna turn the camera off. We'll speak to you before it lights out. But yeah, fantastic night so far, isn't it? Yeah. When we get out, we uh, make the most of it. We do make the most of it. We do. So speak to you in a bit. Yeah. That's it. We're gonna do the, We're here. We're here. We got the bevs. We got the bevs. Yeah. We got the bev gone. Yeah. It's what we used to say when we were 14. We're surrounded by trees. Yeah. Sounds. Sky. But back in the day, we've been uh, we've been drinking together, having good good laughs. 
well, we went to junior school, primary school, junior school, all that kind of thing, and um, yeah, we've got lots of good memories. So, uh, yeah, we've been sort of reminiscing over them over the course of uh, this camp, but it's been good. We've had a uh, nice few beers, nice cheese. Been great, yeah. Just nice like, wine. It's been a per perfect camp, hasn't it? Perfect camp, perfect. yeah. And we've got the lovely, you know, the lovely environment that which we're in. Um, it's been superb, but couldn't have got better, could we? Better wet, couldn't have got better weather. Um, couldn't have better food, better beer. Better food, better, better beer. Nice. Superb. Great. Yeah. So that's it. Um, yeah, we won't sign off yet. Well, she's going to have a good night in the Banshee. Definitely, yeah. You forgot your eye mask. <laughs> I'm going to wrap myself with a, a jump around my face. <laughs> Trying to blank out. Just as long as I don't suffocate, but that's what I'm going to go for. I've got my eye mask, so yeah. I've got no pillow, so after I've got good neck flexibility. I don't even know what I'm going to do, but... No, you're not a giraffe, so you'll be alright. <laughs> you like that? <sighs> yeah. So, so, yeah. I'm going to put... I'm going to roll this up, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, roll Let's that up. This, yeah. Nice, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. And then, like, sports... Martial arts hands. Martial arts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jazz hands. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. Um, I'm going to call it... Call it a night. And, um, yeah gonna speak to you in the morning whilst she'll have a hangover I'll be fine I'm gonna get me water now to take in the no, tent no <laughs> <laughs> alright see you in the morning see you good later. night peace Good morning, not a bad night's sleep. I've just been speaking to Walshy. He's just getting up and getting his stuff together for a morning brew. Really nice relaxing sleep as always in this spot um, with the background sounds of the sea. Um, so yeah, really relaxing. So yeah, no rain overnight, which is always good. Uh, last couple of camps I've been on, it's been very wet. That's a nice change, but it's time to get a drink on. Let's speak to the Walsh Meist and a quick coffee. And then we'll start packing up and say goodbye. Morning, Walsh Meist. Morning. Yeah, had uh, the best sleeping on Mr. Year there. Slept, slept in. You haven't got a hangy, have you? A mild one, a mild one. I haven't slept in like that though for ages. So, uh, yeah, I thought I was going to be awake with the with the noise with the noise of the birds and the light, but had a good sleep. Very it's restful. Good spot, isn't it? Yeah. So you, you, really, you, you really like setting to the air noise, don't you, when you're going to sleep? Yeah. It's nice. Nice and relaxing. Yeah. But brew time. Try and look for a flat bit. A little spork off Emily. Thanks, Emily, again. Very useful. And there we go, always show, no trace left. We're obviously going to be putting those on our backs now. And that's how you should always leave your sights when you come out and do a wild camp. <laughs> so that's it for another video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you have enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not a subscriber to MCM Outdoors. Come and join us on Instagram and Facebook. Big community of like-minded people. They share tips, advice and all things about the great outdoors. 
Walshy, have you had a good time? Yeah, it's been a great trip, yeah. Love the uh, love being out and uh, good good chat, good banter, good catch up. A nice few beers as well, yeah. so you'll see Walshy on another video in about four years. <laughs> but uh, if he can get out, he'll get out again. I've got something in the pipeline with Matt and obviously some more wild camps planned over the summer. So go and enjoy the great outdoors yourself. I always mention get our younger generation, if you can, up, off, away from the screens and um, yeah, enjoying the great outdoors because that's the future, isn't it? Let's get them involved and enjoying what we do. Take care and we'll see you on the next adventure. <laughs>